Hey everybody, this is Evan Pollock from experiencedrums.com. You know, we really want to show people that experienced drums is for everyone. And who do we mean when we say everyone? Well, we're talking about drummers. We're talking about drummers who can read music. Drummers who may not know how to read music. We're talking about guitar players, bass players, keyboard players, tuba players. If you're a mom, if you're a dad and you want to know what your kids are doing on drums, this site is also for you. This Facebook page is for you as well. So what you're staring at is something that any drummer might start off with if they were starting their journey on learning about coordination. And I also want to help people read music. So if you never read music before, let me help you here for a second. You're staring at the magical quarter notes. They are, in my opinion, the backbone of all modern music. And they are counted just like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's what you're staring at on this paper that's before you on the screen. Well, guess what? You see three quarter notes with lines going down. Those represent quarter notes meant to be played with your hands. R would stand for right hand, L would stand for left hand. Now, the one that at the very end of every box that does not have a line going down, but a line going up, that was meant for your foot. So if I was to play those boxes that you're staring at, I'd play it just like this. Give a listen. I'm going to count and you'll hear what I'm saying. One, two, here I go. Right, left, Right foot, left, right, left foot, right, left, right foot, left, right, left foot. How about if I counted them as quarter notes? I count them like this. One, two, here I go. One, two, three, four. 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 Awesome. This time, maybe you guys can join me. You might be saying, I don't have a drum set in front of me. I'm a tuba player. It's okay. You could be a flugelhornist. I don't know how to say what a flugelhorn player is, but you could be a cello player. You could be a, uh, a keyboard player. You can do this. Just tap your legs. Right hand taps your right leg. Left hand taps your left leg. Your foot just taps the floor. I'm going to do the same thing right before you. You're just going to play it with me. Here I go. I'm going to count you in with me. One, two, here we go. Right, left, right, foot. Left, right, left, foot. Right, left, right, foot. Left, right, left, foot. Right, left, right, foot. Left, right, left, foot. Right, left, right, left, right, left, foot. Okay, so here's the thing. You might be saying to yourself, wow, I'm reading quarter notes. I think I understand it. Doesn't quite sound very exciting. It sounds like Frankenstein walking down a staircase, you know, Arr, fire bad. Well, check this out, okay? I'm going to take those same quarter notes and I am going to speed them up a little bit and it's going to start sounding a little different. So normally I don't want to speed up. This time I'm going to just show you what you can do with quarter notes. We're just working out the coordination and you're getting your reading chops together. So here I go and this is going to help anybody out there who's never known how a drummer begins his or her journey to coordinate limbs. So here, here I go. One, two, here I go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, 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 right, 
So you see simple quarter notes can make all of a sudden this incredible groove. That's what you're actually staring at when you play it very fast. Hey, I want to show you one last thing, and that's this. I'm going to take my right hand, and I am going to play the edge of my seat with my right hand. My left hand is going to play my left leg, and my right foot's still going to do the same thing. So what I'm just doing is I'm just taking two different sound sources with my hands. It's like if you took, if you took uh, maybe you played your tabletop with your right hand, and your left hand played your leg, and your foot still tapped the floor. See, so here I go. Check this out. One, two, three, four. That sounds like something that would be like on a hi-hat or a snare drum or a bass drum. Put it all together and that's what you're getting. That's the same exact thing you guys are staring at, only I'm just putting my hands in different places. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed sharing it. Let me know. Write me. Tell me what you think about this stuff. Let me know what you want to see. Hope you all come back and join us on the next Try This at experiencedrums.com.